Center is where we tell you their ongoing successes on the war against terror. It will give you a panorama. In the face of an ongoing insurgency in the Northeast. Good day. You are welcome to this week's edition of your favorite program, Command Center. The operations in the Northeast. What role has the Nigerian Navy played? Also, the campaign against militant group Niger Delta Avengers. What is the situation like in the creeks? We are privileged to have the director of naval information, Commodore Chris Ezekobe, who will be speaking exclusively to Command Center. Also on our foreign segment, Command Center will succumb to the calls from our viewers who have asked that we profile the life and death of international terrorist and ISIS commander Abu Wahib. You can join the conversation via our Facebook page, STV Command Center, and follow us on Twitter at Command Center 16. Stay tuned. Terrorism is not jihad. It is cruel, wicked, and man's inhumanity to man. Both Islam and Christianity abhor the killings of the weak and defenseless. There can be no development without peace and security. See something, say something. Let's give peace a chance. Welcome back. Before we move on to our guest, we have our words on marble. For today is taken from the Holy Quran. Let's listen to what it has to say. We have heard the words from the holy book, killing of the innocent is not jihad. We have Commodore Chris Ezekobe with us. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. Now, what is the extent of the Navy's involvement in the Northeast? We hear of Air Force, we hear of the, the Nigerian Army. What about the Navy? Well, um, our engagements in the Northeast are twofold. Um, we are part of um, the services that contribute to the Armed Forces Special Brigade up there in the Northeast. And we also have a detachment of um, our Special Forces, which is um, the Special Boat Section. Um, the Special Boat Section is um, trained by um, the Americans and the British. Um, especially the American SEALs. So it is an allied specialist force um, that carries out specific missions. They are inserted into the theater, complete those missions, and are extracted immediately. Um, they've gone largely on song, um, not because we do not appreciate their enormous um, contributions to the war effort in the Northeast, but um, because we do not seek to compromise their persons, their personalities, and of course their missions. Um, but most recently, the Chief of the Naval Staff has um, commended them severally and um, given them several advancements. Um, the Chief of the Army Staff has also commended the Special Forces. Now, so in essence, the myth that the Navy has no boots on ground in the Northeast, like I said, is a myth. Not a reality. Definitely. Definitely. 
one year after the renewed onslaught on the Boko Haram terrorists, how will you appraise the efforts so far? Uh, the synergy that has been developed by not only the armed forces but by other stakeholders, the intelligence services and um, the likes, has been um, enormous because, um, as you are well aware, the, um, the threat of the insurgents has been highly degraded. Um, it's been limited to very few um, spaces in the Northeast. And I'm sure that within the upcoming months, we'll totally eradicate um, the scourge of the Boko Haram threat. Now, the claims that uh, no territory is under the control of the terrorists, how true is it? When you say a territory is under control of someone, like in the past, you've had them take over territories, hoist their flags, establish command posts, that is a thing of the past. So, in a manner of speaking, there is no territory held by Boko Haram. Yes, they can uh, attack one or two places and run back into the bushes, but the times of saying that a particular territory is under the control of Boko Haram, I think that is um, it's history. I, I, I remember sometime last year, the, mini the Minister of Information said that Boko Haram has been technically defeated. You are a senior, very senior army personnel. Uh, when he said it, he received criticism. Do you share that view? Well, um, I want to leave what the minister has said in the political realm. We are operational commanders and um, we deal with, you know, operational and tactical situations on the ground. Finally, regarding the situation in the Northeast, what is the Nigeria, Nigerian Navy's expectations from the public? As you are well aware, we are in the process of um, establishing a naval outpost at Lake Chad. And um, this is to further uh, improve upon the security of the Lake Chad region to curtail cross-border trafficking, be it in arms or human-related um, um, issues, including smuggling, to um, further degrade the capacity of um, the Boko Haram terrorists that operate within that region. So evidently, what the Nigerian Navy will be looking forward to is uh, a robust community relationship with the people of the general area, uh, be it in uh, Baga or Damba, Damba Masara, Within that whole axis, we do need the cooperation of the, you know, uh, the locals for us to be able to function effectively. I think that will be uh, paramount in our operations in that particular enclave. Now, uh, I wanted to end this segment, but there's a question which is burning in my mind. They say that there's a responsibility of people to government. We have demanded so much from our military the Army, the Air Force, the Navy. But in terms of intelligence sharing from the community, because most of these territories, uh, most of these terrorists, they come into the community. What should Nigerians do if the, the what is expected of Nigerians in terms of intelligence sharing, in terms of working with the military to ensure that these terrorists, this insurgency, these terrorists are crushed once and for all. In fairness to the civil populace, I think that um, the situation has very much improved in terms of um, information sharing, um, our collaboration with um, such outfits as the civilian JTF has greatly enhanced our capacities in terms of um, local intelligence. Um, our own if you would, um, strategic intelligence units such as the DSS and the NIA have also provided enormous intelligence in support of this operation. So overall, I feel that um, intelligence gathering and sharing has largely improved and that is um, the resultant effect is the degradation of um, the potency of the Boko Haram threat. We'll take a short break now when we return. 
Commodore Chris Ezekobe, the director of Naval Information, he's still on set, he's still in the studio, he's not going away. He'll continue to give us highlights of the, of the Navy's involvement, its campaign against terrorism, and protecting Nigeria's pipelines. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Nsikak Evans. I'm the host of your regular program, Beyond Plenary. This is where we'll be discussing issues beyond the Red Chamber of the National Assembly. Is it lawmaking, committee meetings, oversight functions, and breathtaking interviews? This is where senators and technocrats will be responding to issues that are agitating for answers. You want to be a part of the program? Then join me this Friday by 3.30. Beyond Plenary, taking the Senate to your doorstep.